so we have done enough of the Vue.js thing and ugly styling so let's first fix this styling by using Tailwind CSS so I will start with Tailwind CSS documentation click on get started and we have framework guide and we have laravel here we have white here so let's start with laravel and see how this is going to work obviously it says that you need to install these two things so let's just copy from here and go to our project and run it this is going to have the tailwind css post css and auto prefixer for the tailwind css then it is going to initialize the tailwind css that means very soon we will have the tailwind configuration file here and yeah we are having it that's great next it says that on this tailwind css configuration you need to add this section on the content part so copy that and replace it with the content we have here like this this is basically saying that go to the resources and any blade file check for any css classes we have used inside any js file or inside any view file if you are using uh, like uh, react you can swap it with the jsx or tsx anything you want basically the file extension you are using that's great ne next is yeah so we need to create the app.css file and have all these three inside that so where do we have the styling okay so on the resources css app.css we have this so paste it and that's great now since we are having this uh, css app.css you need to make sure when you go to the white configuration you need to have this input of resources css app.css in your white configuration because otherwise it will not going to compile that for you that's great and finally we need to run npm run dev and start using it so let's get it rerunning and see if we are having it or not so i don't think we are having because if we have it then it will change the styling so let's go here and see if i add this hello in a h1 and have a class of text large and text uh, red 500 and it should be when we go on the home so text is there but it's not having that uh, uh, red color for my hello this means the tailwind css is not yet configured so what i'm missing here so let's just explore first we said to white that hey you need to compile this app.css that's good and uh, when you compile it will go to the public and uh, it's not there inside the public it should be there but uh, i think we are using the white so do we really have the css in our page and that's the issue you can see we don't have it this means if we go to the view app.blade.php with this white thing yes we are having the js but not the css so once you add it save the file go here and boom you can see styling is there that's really really powerful thing with the tailwind css now what i want is i want to have a proper header like here and then a proper page which loads something and then we will work on the login page especially so i already have the tailwind ui so i will get it there and here we can find a lot of amazing designs so let's go to the documentation but not on the documentation on the component and i need a header or navbar actually navbar so here we have the navbars and i will get it and i think this one is good for me so i will get the code for the vue.js from here click on the code and copy it once we copy we need to create a separate navbar so yes we will go on the js component and i will create a nav bar dot view 
file and paste everything there okay so everything is working here but we need to import that navbar in my layout file so navbar is here i have imported it like this and i need to import it in this way which i really like and that's it now let's once again go here and now it says that component does not exist okay so something bad happened so navbar.view and navbar.view is there components at the rate navbar.view everything is there what happened so it says that yeah headless ui view is not available in our navbar so navbar is using this headless ui view thing and this we get from the documentation of our tailwind ui so let's go to the tailwind ui and it says that you need the tailwind css which we have already configured and then it says that you need the headless ui react or headless ui for the view.js if we are using the view okay so go to the headless ui it's free okay so let's click on anything installation great so here we are npm install headless ui view so kill this and install headless ui that's good and now once again running and still it says something else hero icon so next is hero icon we need so we need the hero icon i think that's same with view thing so hero icon slash view oops two times at the rate and once again that's done and npm run dev everything should work and yep you can see if i zoom out little bit you can see we have our navbar wow that's really really great so what i will do i will just change some of the things because we don't need this dashboard team project and calendar instead we need the links for hello about and login we do have the this, this uh, icon but here actually we need the login button dashboard okay so they have something like this so it will be like home then about and then login now href will be slash test and i will change it to home slash about and slash login this is going to be interesting because we are using our own link tag so whenever we are using the navigation instead of this anchor tag let's change it with the link tag which we have created now this is good link is there key is obviously there then href good all the classes everything is fine and let's close this link tag that's great now everything should work but it's not working because of some issue this is because remember we have to give the name field and not passing the child because this is our own link tag okay so that's good will be colon link and yeah so we have passed it and i don't need arial current and if this is current and the class will be something like this so instead of uh, so see this is working very nice this is about the home page is not there obviously and you have seen this is uh, the inertia error page <laughs> whenever the page is not there it says that 404 great and login page is there login page is different that's good okay so first what we have to fix we have to fix this class which is making this as a current and remember in our link component we already have this active one so let's make it good by having this class and make it class like this and 
we will define it current like this so if this is current then do that active so we don't need to do anything else here that's good and now link is powerful and from the navigation list we have we can remove the current part because this will be taken care by our link component great so, so about page should be having a uh, selected so that is working and uh, this happened because we need more things we need the component name also so the component will be the item dot name so yes now about is there and login is also there home we have to fix it okay now we can remove this line of code which is the header we are using so let's remove the header part from this layout so we have this header we can totally remove it and nice and easy finally we need to fix this home and we can go to the web.php and instead of test let's make it home and will be the home page so convert this to home page like this and this is home great so home page about page and login page